Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Today I thought I would talk about the harmonic armature and photography. And I recently did a video that talked about the practical application of dynamic symmetry, meaning how you can accurately apply dynamic symmetry because there's a lot of misconceptions about this information when it comes to photography. The 1.5 format, the 35 millimeter format, is the most dominant format in the photography industry. And unfortunately, you can't apply dynamic symmetry using the 1.5 unless you overlap root fours. And I've talked about that in the video. You can find it in my user's guide downloads. I actually added it to that because the reality is those that are shooting in a 1.5 format meaning 35 millimeter format, they'll never use the overlapped root fours, which means you're never using dynamic symmetry. When you're photographing in the 1.5 format, you're, there's so many limitations with dynamic symmetry. Unless you're willing to crop your photographs, you truly are not using dynamic symmetry. And what I want to show today is how you can use a harmonic armature in any size rectangle when it comes to photography and it is a more universal and accurate way to design using classical skill based design. So what you see on my screen is a photograph by Martin Frank and let me show you what I mean by that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw out the 14 line grid which is the harmonic armature and I'm not going to draw the whole thing out because it's not even necessary. What I do when I do my video lectures now for photography, when I'm analyzing photographs, I use the harmonic armature, not the 1.5 armature that I show in my user's guide. And it's the one that you see online all the time where the, you know, the, the author or whoever's doing the video, they're stating it's dynamic symmetry. When you're photographing in a 1.5 and you're using the 1.5 armature, which you can use, and I do use it in some of my own work, but that's not dynamic symmetry. So you're really not using dynamic symmetry. And the only way to use dynamic symmetry, like I said, is to overlap root fours. And that's pretty much impossible in photography. It's not even a thing. So let me show you how you can use the armature much easier. I don't do this camera grid thing, so I'm not even going to talk about that in this sense because you could technically tape a harmonic armature grid to your camera just like you could the 1.5 grid but I'm not really into that so I won't go there but I use the harmonic armature to analyze photographs so just by dropping a few lines let me point out a few things you have this diagonal line playing heavily into this guy leaning over right you have a division here but I can drop a vertical where these two lines intersect and it gives me this division here you have this diagonal line being played out with the bird's underbelly and the beak right here. And you also have a vertical here. You have this diagonal line being played out in this area as well. And I haven't even dropped the full armature. If I continue just to drop a few more lines, you can see even more things fall into place. You have a vertical here. And you can actually bring this, I'm sorry, horizontal there, but you can actually bring this vertical all the way down. It's enclosing this area here. You have a vertical here that encloses the little boy's face. And this is how you can analyze your photographs. And there's, you know, it's interesting because whenever you find information on dynamic symmetry, the first thing that comes up is cartier brisson and I have to admit, I, I was part of that mess too because I came from the Barnstone stuff. But there's nothing written about what Cartier Brisson was using in his photographs. So in other words, he could be he could have analyzed his photographs using the harmonic armature just as easily. For example, I could drop a vertical right here, lined up with the little boy's arm. Things fall into place in a good photograph. And then if I drop continue on with the armature. You have this slight element playing in here. And you, you, you get a full understanding of whether or not you have a strong photograph or not by just dropping this armature down. And you don't have to drop all the lines down, just a few. 
And I do have a small section in my new user's guide about the harmonic armature and photography. And moving forward, this is all I'm going to use to analyze photographs because it's more universal and it and you can actually apply it to a 1.5 frame. And like I said, you can use the 1.5 armature that I show you in my user's guide, but just understand that's not dynamic symmetry. So if you're shooting in a 1.5 format, chances are there's no way you can use dynamic symmetry. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it as always.